Hello, this is the uh, 86 Suzuki Samurai, this is the electric power steering conversion I did. Uh, you can see here, let's start off at the top, it's the uh, uh, stock Samurai arm here. I took it out of my Samurai, cut it, and grafted in, you can see the slide piece here where it's welded. I could have left it sliding, but I welded it because uh, I could. Uh, this is from a, the electric power steering unit itself is from a 2014 Nissan Versa. However, some years ago when I did this, I was researching it, and it turns out there's only like two or three suppliers of electric steering units for all the cars. So pretty much find any electric steering in a, like a newer, well, newer, anything past 2008, really, it starts having electric steering. Car with a metal brain box. Right there, it's where I put the brain box back here where it stays cool. I found originally I had it mounted here, it, get, it would get too hot and then turn off. So I moved it to here. Uh, to connect the box, you can see I cut off all but the one power lead I needed to turn it on and off. That's this wire here. Turns out, oh, I gotta be careful, I don't wanna break that. That turns on and off. That's the uh, input, and that's the main power lines. And those, this goes right here. It uh, goes directly to the battery with a 30 amp breaker in line that controls it. It's either on or off and uh, the steering is light, it's responsive, it self-centers, it's perfect. Uh, here's the actual electric steering unit itself like I said there and I use the U-joint that came with it. I bought the whole column off eBay for 65 bucks and I use the uh, U-joint that came with it to make a rag joint eliminator. You could use it a rag joint with this, but I don't think a rag joint would last very long. Seeing as uh, for demonstration, when I first put this in to show how powerful it was, I would get my front tire up against a rock, a big boulder, and move my whole samurai sideways, just flicking the wheel with one finger. I eventually twisted the output shaft of my steering box and to replace my steering box. So don't do that. <laughs> but it's powerful. Uh, I'm running 32s. A uh, buddy of mine's running 35s with no problems whatsoever with electric steering. It's plenty powerful to turn up to 35s. Maybe bigger, but I wouldn't push it. I mean, I'm driving a light, small vehicle. Uh, the bracket for mounting this. Let me see if I can get to that somehow. Is down there. Hard to see, it's, there. that's the bracket. It's just a piece of eighth inch by inch and a half strap iron that I just uh, drilled holes in both ends, bent it around, and once you're, if you can fab this much, you'll figure it out once you get it on there how to, where the bends need to be. And I just welded it across the top of the frame rail. However, it's really, you could do it any number of ways. And that holds it perfectly secure, just those two mounting spots. It doesn't twist. It works perfect. And that's the electric power steering. Thank you.